<laughs> SNL, man. I gotta ask that. You know, what was? I mean, I, 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 I think I auditioned like three times. I never got it. Um, it I, wasn't because you weren't talented. No, yeah, mm. you know, I, you know, it was. I just didn't get it. It right. was like I thought I was gonna get like a callback or right. something. It was. Like, I did nah, it. Not, it was like ninety eight, bro. Right. Right. I thought I was getting caught because I murdered that did shit. You like, hear the, did you hear the story that Lauren always said that after Eddie, it was never he, gonna, he yep. would never let a, a black, not a black, he said it didn't say specifically a black dude, but he meant he would never let a guy get bigger, bigger than the show. Bigger than the show, the way Eddie Murphy became bigger than the show. But, that but what's he said hilarious, he would never let that happen. It's hilarious because Eddie Murphy is what got SNL to number one. Yeah. It was in number, right. it was in last place. So Eddie Murphy helped that. Well, it was going to get canceled too. Yeah, yeah it was going to get show, canceled. The show was going to get canceled because mm -hmm. uh, they they weren't doing the numbers like they had. I mean, when the show first started in in seventy five, seventy five, Chevy, um, you had the the all. First of all, it was it was counterculture, so that's yeah, it, no it hit so hard because yep. you had these cats that no one was familiar with that all became stars, yep. and then. Once they became stars after the first after season one, season two, which was like a dynamo. Like right. like I liken it to when Def Comedy Jam first popped, oh, right? Yeah. In ninety two. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what it happened in, in seventy five. Right. It was it was you had you had you had Belushi, you yeah. had Ackroyd, you had yeah. Chase, you had Garrett Morris who doesn't yeah. get the dap he the deserves. Dap he deserves. Yeah. Garrett Morris As is, is 80, had, like eighty some eighty years some old years right old no and so has had but before but before going in, back into SNL, yeah. think about this. Garrett Morris has been on like has had bangers right yes. so you Martin. had SNL you had Martin yeah. um, you had uh, Two Broke Girls yeah. this yeah. dude's oh, been yeah. on nothing but yeah. hits you yeah, know what I mean yeah that's he's, crazy he's had like a nice he's a always nice, on that's, yeah, how you, that's how you get rich you gotta make the money yeah. and don't look and you know like he's you a black belt in karate I, I believe know. it he was attacked and he, and he almost got killed Oh, I never and knew someone that. tried to you know, stab me. He dismantled and fucked the dude up. Like mm -hmm. he talks good. about it. Oh, good. Like he was like, I'm glad that I learned. I knew Something what I was doing to do. Yeah, because I I fucked the dude up. Yeah. but he got me. But I got him. Right. You know, it was like, right. damn. Right. So yeah, Garrett Moore. Garrett Morris, man, that dude was groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. African American man to be on a show like that. Right. On NBC. Right. That's like, and he should be looked at and should be. I think so. About I Garrett think so. Morris. I don't think he gets. I I remember when he and I think because uh, when Eddie first popped, Eddie was was um, brash and was kind of negative towards uh, Garrett because was he? Yeah, because uh, because Garrett the the idea was Garrett kind of played the background and didn't get a chance to shine and Eddie. I don't think it was his fault though. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it wasn't right, Garrett right. Morris's fault. But Eddie's young and, Eddie's and young. comes in and Yo, he pops. So he's like he's like why didn't he's you like pop? nah I ain't just I ain't just gonna be sitting in the background you know like like you know other black people that were on the show before me right mm -hmm. right but but then years later Garrett Morris got him back he was like yeah you know it's funny because he talked all that junk but you know who's playing a jackass now you know something like that. Yeah. With, with him in, in, in Shrek, you know, uh, it was uh, 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 hundred million dollars. Hundred million jackass. <laughs> fuck are you talking about? I'm sorry. Word. I'm sorry. Uh, what you talking about? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Don, Don, donkey is certainly oh, home, quite. Donkey has, has been quite well to me. <laughs> yeah, that donkey. <laughs> Donkey's she, done quite well. <laughs> word. Word. Right, you got your mind, word. but I understand. I get. He was disrespecting young. Garrett Morris. Yeah, he was young back in the day. Yeah, it's like what's. You know, uh, Ali did it to Frazier. Yeah, we all did that. Yeah, we uh, we all wore a, a gold ring outside our leather gloves or something like. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> had had that young. I I did that at one point. And man. SNL, I remember when I when I auditioned, I was like, they said for me it was I don't know what they did for you. It was four characters and four. It was three three for us. It, but by the time I, I I was three years after you, so I was in oh one, and okay. it was three characters, three impressions. I did four, and mm -hmm. I added a fifth one. Uh huh. See, I, I just did another one. I did Johnny Carson uh -huh. just to throw it in there. <laughs> but you know and what? They went fucking crazy. <laughs> but when that's I did that's it. to me that's key. Don't do what they what, what they, they ask. Want. Do do yeah. as long as you do it within the allotted time. And I did all of them in the allotted time. Plus, Boom. you're nervous. I'm coming from Boom. Chicago. Yeah, man. I've only been in New York for maybe half a year or some shit like that. And you're like, yeah, you have an audition for SNL. I was like, what? I was mm -hmm. like, damn. You mean to tell me? Mm -hmm. 
that I might be able to get on the same platform as Eddie Murphy. Yes, yeah. I grew up on that shit. Right. We would run right. to the TV for that shit. Yeah. Saturday Night Live, <laughs> Eddie Murphy, Eddie Tim Kazarinsky, <laughs> Mary Gross, <laughs> and Joe Piscopo. <laughs> this is Don Pardo saying goodnight. Yeah, that was, that was Don. <laughs> Rest in peace, Don, Don Pardo. Pardo. Yeah. yeah, and I good was like, dude. Real good wow, dude. man, because... Just he, it was the Eddie Murphy show, man. It God was, damn it. it was, and I was like, I might have a chance, yeah, bro. Yeah. And then when I went up and murdered, I mm-hmm. was like, I might actually right. get on this fucking show. Right. They want funny people, right? right. right. I did funny. good. Yeah, I did real good. Yeah. Silly you, I, you did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even Silly. going to the callback, stupid. <laughs> oh, Take your dumb ass. Go, why don't you go imitate yourself in the mirror? <laughs> talking about how you didn't get it. <laughs> do, do that darn part of Do, do, do your Carson. <laughs> wow, I didn't get it. Did not know that. Wow, well, weird, well, wow. stuff. Weird. Wow, <laughs> didn't weird. get it. Wow, <laughs> didn't even make it to the callback. What a loser. You are uh, correct, black, sir. Black guy who didn't get the SNL. <laughs> <laughs> what is Godfrey's career? <laughs> Karnak. <laughs> what is, damn it, <laughs> shit, <laughs> and fuck them. <laughs> Expressions you say when you didn't make it. <laughs> See, this is an old school. Johnny right, I was Carson just thinking, thinging. somebody, some People young guy, like, what? what the fuck what are, are y'all what are, doing? What are they Look doing? up Karnak, Johnny Carson, yeah. and he does this thing where he <laughs> right. pretends like he's a he's a <laughs> a swami, <laughs> a swami, or something. Can see in the future. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so that, Aladdin, but white. <laughs> right. When I didn't get that shit, it was like. I was gonna ask, how did you feel? Because you knew, like, you went shit. in knowing you crushed it, <laughs> and I and I and I didn't think I was gonna. I was hoping I was like, I hope I get at least called call back, back, you know? Right, right. But I I killed really hard that yeah. day. Yeah. And uh, Daryl you... Hammond was there at the time, mm-hmm. and he told me like years later, and he just came up to me. You know, Daryl don't talk to anybody, mm-hmm. only a few people. Very, very low. And he saw he saw me and yeah. just was, he was at the, and the at the cellar at the bar and shit, and he just goes. Yeah, man, Godfrey, I've been wanting to tell you for a long time, you know, uh, have you ever wondered about why you never got on SNL? And I was like, no, no yeah, yeah, man. Sometimes yeah, I, I course, think about yeah. it. He goes, yeah, man. He goes, when I saw you that night, I was sitting next to Lauren and all of them, I was right there. Mm. And you know, you just, you blew everybody out the water. Mm-hmm. Like nobody could fall. It was just you shit. Right. And he goes, I just knew he wasn't going to get it. Mm. Mm. He goes, and he told me he kept it 100 with me. Mm-hmm. He said, because Lauren didn't want, he didn't want that shit to happen again. Right. right. That Eddie Murphy shit. He told me, right. Daryl Hammond told me straight off. And I didn't ask him. He came up to me. Right. And he goes, I know sometimes you want, you know, people need closure on why. Yeah. And you just go, oh, okay. That's dope. That was dope. With that. I was you like, you know, Greer said the same thing. Did he say the same thing? Greer blew everybody away. Ooh, and, with his yeah, shit too. Yeah. 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 And it was like, and when um, I remember when Dean got it, I was like, "Oh, that's mm-hmm. great! Dean can do impersonations." Yeah, 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 yeah. But they limited you they a little didn't bit. Let you get off? Yeah. They yeah. did not yeah. let you get off. I was like, "Dean's about to. Oh, it's mm. over now." <laughs> I was like, "I was yeah, like, no, <laughs> yeah, no, not quite." But but now, hearing so, your story and so, hearing Greer, I think what pushed me over was a lot of people didn't know. I had booked Mad TV first. What? I booked Mad TV that summer, the oh, summer two thousand one. You booked that too? Yeah, early, Shit. early, late May, Man. early June. Um, because I remember going to the because a year before that, remember UPN had a sketch show that they were doing. They did a sketch show and they flew me to LA and I stunk. <laughs> and I, it was awful, son. Yeah, right. And I remember saying to myself, I never want to be like my manager hit me. He was like, What happened? And I was like, Damn, oh, that, <laughs> that's that what bad? you're saying? It was that bad? <laughs> you know, so I said, I never want to be in that situation again. So I remember taking some classes with Second City. Right. Just to learn the form because yeah. we're stand ups, yeah. we're yeah. not sketched. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I took some classes with Second City. And then I, I saw Jimmy Fallon's audition tape for SNL. Oh wow! And Jimmy did was he playing Jimmy guitar? his he he did some guitar things, but I think his strong suit was his impressions. He can pre- right. He, he had some great good. impressions. Right. He did a couple of characters, but the impressions won. So I said to myself, I said similar to what you did. I said, you know what? Instead of doing, they said three characters, three impressions. I said I'm gonna do three characters that are eh. Right. I said, but I'm gonna do mad impressions, and I, is if I do it in three minutes, ain't nobody's yeah. gonna say mm-hmm. that's too many. Yeah. So I did. I I wrote a scene. I remember rehearsing it and yeah. and locking it in 
and it was here's my impression of because because people always lose time this is where people lose time in their auditions so here's my impression yeah. of mm -hmm. Jerry Seinfeld. Here so now, right, and they turn around. <laughs> Why do they always turn they around? Turn like around. we forget and, it's there. It goes right. a little something right. like this. But, but here's, the <laughs> here's the problem with that. Every time you do that, you're Seconds. cutting into your time. Yep. And so I said, you know what, I just want to set it up and then go. And so I I, I I started doing what's what I call a, a an impression run where I just do a, a bunch of impressions. Yeah. So I said, here's my impression of a, a black award show with Chris Rock and Chris Tucker hosting. Jay-Z is doing uh, a duet with Erica Badu. And then uh, Denzel Washington and Sam Jackson are presenting James Earl Jones with a Lifetime Achievement Award. So it was like seven yeah, cats. Right. Bum, so bum, now, bum, bum. now I could just same I could just go from, from Chris Rock to Chris Tucker to Jay-Z to, right. to Erica Badu. Right. And and it's just, just running. Going, 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 and, going. But hitting punchlines yeah. in it. Yeah. And so... I did, so when I went to the Mad TV audition, Donnell Rollins was there, Owen Smith was there, Damn. a bunch of cats that we knew. I went in first. Right. I go I was supposed to do three minutes. I did. I did like ten because I did my three, and then uh, Nicole Garcia, who was at Fox, um, who's casting for Mad TV, okay. she's like, "So who else do you do?" So so she's like, "I said I don't know who you want." She was like, uh, "Jamie Foxx." I was like, "You know, um, I, I, you know, Jamie, he's real cool." She's like, "Steve Harvey." I was like, "Well, I, I don't." And these are people I didn't know. But yeah, you but you're familiar it. enough yeah. with them that <laughs> they're in there, yeah, and so I just so black. I was just doing every right, doing yeah. everybody black, right? Uh, Alfred Wooder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> ooh, uh, uh, right. So so I crush it. I walk out. Donnell was like, "Yo, young and everybody out here hates you <laughs> because uh, you, and Donnell you, was one of them. Hey, yeah, he was being he was joking, <laughs> but being real, son. You know? <laughs> yeah, son. <laughs> so I walked out. And before I made it around the corner, my manager called and said, yo, you got a call back, right? They get, they want you to come back tomorrow with producers, a producer session. I was like, bet. So I'm feeling good. That night I had a stand-up show, um, showcase. Right. And because I had a had a call back, I'm feeling good. So yeah. I crushed the showcase. Yeah. Go yeah. into the call back, crush it. Two weeks later, I'm shooting this, uh, this KFC commercial. My agent calls. He's like, yo, I got good news, great news. I said, what's up? I said, the good news is, man, TV... Wants to offer you. Um, they wow. they don't even want to uh, audition uh, or screen test you. They're offering you six episodes awesome. that are rolled to thirteen. Ooh. And you know my wife was pregnant at the time, right. so I'm like, bad. I'm yeah, not. Like, we yeah. good. Hell yeah, we good. I said, well, if that's the good news, what's the better news? He said, the better news is people from SNL were at that showcase that night. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, wow. I said, what is? What does that mean? He was like, that means I get to play. So he took the tape from that night, um, sends it out to every every network because I'm a, I'm now going to Montreal. I'm going to Just oh, for Last oh, that okay. year, right? Everything is live. I don't mm. right. I don't tell the only person I tell is Ian Edwards. Cause I didn't cause you know comics that yo, so what's going on? Yeah, I didn't man. I didn't want that. Right. So I, I kept it close to the hip, but I had to go to LA to meet with all the networks before I went to um before uh SNL. So in the meantime, we're stalling Mad TV saying yeah. yes or no and we're trying to get SNL to lock me into giving me some sort of guarantee because my, my agents are like, you know what? We need some guarantees that that because when you audition for SNL, you have to sign a contract first. You know that you have to sign a contract, which means they they have first right refusals, which if right. you, if you book other things, those things are off the table. Right. So we 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 danced around and, and held them off for about. Uh, uh, two weeks, and then my I, I suddenly have a lawyer. My lawyer's like, sometimes you gotta have balls to say no to get what you want. So I said to SNL, so I said, you know, just tell SNL no. I'll just take Mad TV, <laughs> right? Oof. So we we had a meeting with CBS that afternoon. My my agent goes and tells him we we get to CBS. He's like, they bit. They said they'll give you an answer in a week. They'll give you an answer in a week because I was going to Montreal the next week. In the meantime. Kev hits me. Yo, Dean, boom. Hey, hey, you know what? Um, Dean, I'm auditioning for SNL. I said, oh, uh, that's cool. <laughs> you know, I didn't tell him. I said, what's up? He was like, yo, I need you to um, I need you to help me with uh, I need help with my audition. I said, all right. I said, just so you know, I'm auditioning too. He's like, all right, cool. I said, you know, but whatever. We both going to Montreal, we both going to SNL. We we all gonna lead this summer with something, right? right. So I go in uh, to a test for SNL. He went the day before me, and then I went on uh, on July twelfth. We at this point said no to Mad TV. Yeah. Um, SNL they make me go last in the day, oh. right? So so 
they're auditioning 12 people that they're screen testing 12 mm, people. So we get there, boy. get there at like 1130. Mm. And I'm sitting in Anna Gasteyer, uh, her dressing room a long time. from from 11:30 till 5:30, and you're watching as as oh. the numbers, you know, you see Clock. fewer and fewer yeah. people oh. in the hallways. Right. Oh. And finally, I go and I, but I was in the army, so I'm like, this is they trying to test me. They trying to right. see, but they can but you. I'm on some yo. Live, I'm, I got right, mad live. I, I, I know that my joint was is fire from the mid, so I'm on some Denzel. Yeah. I stand by. I guarantee it. I know this is gonna win, <laughs> right? Because now I know I got laughs already, yeah. right? Yep. And so I go in. I remember Eddie Murphy said, "You know, just man, I had fun." Eddie I, you know, told you? And, no, no, no. But I remember when Eddie oh. auditioned for SNL. He said, "Yeah, I remember. You know, it's a lot. It was a lot of guys. Every actor." That worked in New York City auditioned for SNL when I auditioned. You know, remember the dude? This, I remember he said, "Remember the dude from that commercial? Give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball." Yeah, 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 yeah. right. He That's said, all, all, uh, uh, all chorus line." That, that chorus line. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Give me the ball, give me yeah. the ball, give me the ball." He said, "We all did. We all did. Give me the ball, give me the ball, yeah." <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you brought that up. I used to do it. It used to just pop it just up my head. Give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. was catchy, yeah. yeah. Yo, that's Yo, so Ferrari. he said that dude was at the audition when he auditioned. <laughs> he said they were auditioning every black actor in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> so... Hearing Eddie say when he was a, when wow. he auditioned, and he said, man, I'm just having fun. So when I walked through the, uh, the 8-H doors... And saw a home base where every host had delivered their, their monologues since 75. I was like, all right, you know, have fun. I get on stage. <laughs> there's a there's a camera with a monitor, so you see yourself on the mm, stage. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm I'm a kid, so I'm like, y'all, like, I'm like, y'all. And Lauren, Lauren comes over, he's like, Dean, thanks for thanks for being here. I'm like, yo, thanks for having me, son. <laughs> so um, so they say, go when you're ready. I hit it. Um, and they said you might not get let I heard in the dark I heard laughter in the you know, darkness. So uh -huh. I was crushing. So I left there that day saying, All right, you know what? <clears throat> We're going to Montreal next week. What's meant to be will be. And uh and then that the following Monday, my agent called and said, Listen, um, Lauren wants to meet you on, on Wednesday. He wants to have a meeting. So at that point, I'm like, so he wants to size me up. But but I'm so green that in my mind, I'm like, but I'm going to Montreal on Wednesday. I have to. And and they're like, we we already let them know he's he's Lauren buying you. He's buying you. he's Bob buying Montreal. you a ticket to fly up Bob later. Montreal. So at that point, I said, oh, so he just wants to size me up, see if I'm crazy or not. Mm -hmm. See, and, and and we went and met and wound up going to Montreal. Knowing that I had SNL, but I couldn't tell. Damn. But I couldn't tell anybody. Oh, that's amazing. Couldn't tell anybody. So when I get up there, <laughs> now mind you, I'm exhausted for the last yeah, month yeah. of holding these it's secrets. Of yeah. There's a lot of mental drain. So this is hustle hard has been in effect since since the er, since the late '90s because when we're up in Montreal, Kev got up there earlier, right. and when I get to my hotel, I'm finally tired. I want to exhale, so I lay on the bed, and Kev calls. He's like, Dean, Dean, what are you doing? I said, yo, I, I just got back to the hotel, man. I'm tired. He was like, don't, D, come on. Come on. We, this is why we're here. We got to get out. We got a politic. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me get out and, and and play the role. So I get out. I'm not, I don't tell Kev. People from NBC, uh, Mark Hirschfeld, he comes up. He's Mark. like, yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, congratulations. But my agent told me don't tell because mm, nobody's right. supposed to know. Right. So I'm I'm thinking, I'm so afraid they're going to take it from me mm. that Mark is like, Mark from NBC is like, yeah, congratulations. I'm like, F on, on what? I don't I don't know what. Yeah. He's like, right. no, it's it's fine. We know. I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What you're <laughs> Cause I'm honestly thinking they trying know. to pump yeah. fake me to see yeah. and I got gotcha, you, you know? So, yep. so the next day had the showcases and we wound up, um, we wound up, I, I was able to, I, D. Ray and Kev were in the green room when I was able to like go and tell. To, they were the first two people outside wow. of my, um, my my mother and my wife yeah. and my father. That's um, crazy. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy, yeah. crazy. What they, and so what, what, because I remember, <laughs> go ahead, when, spill, you, spill. when you got it, right? Yeah, uh -huh. And I, I saw Tracy Morgan in the street. <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Godfrey, I'm not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. It was when the Boston Comedy Club was still open. Yeah, and I was walking towards the Comedy Cellar on on a West Third, uh -huh. and I say, "Yo, Tracy, <laughs> yo, Dean Edwards just got SNL." 
And he goes, that motherfucker better be ready to wear, wear some dress. lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> you better be, 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 be ready to put on rouge. <laughs> put on some lipstick. You about to, you a black man at SNL, you gonna wear a dress. You gonna wear pantyhose. <laughs> you gonna wear a dress. He t- But you know what, real talk? Tracy actually, when when I booked it, he, he was right. He took me to he took me to he said, "Y'all want to take you out, you know, celebrate." So we go to the Olive we go to the Olive Garden in Times Square. Remember the Olive Garden in Times Square? And we sit there, and he's like, he's like, "How you how, you how you feeling?" I said, "I'm feeling good." He's like, "Yeah, you about to be making that money? You about to be making that money?" I said, "Yeah, you about you about to make more money than everybody in your entire generation." I said, "Yeah, man." He's like, "How you feel?" I said, "I'm feeling good." He's like, "How you feel when you when they gonna put you in that dress?" <laughs> Look at and I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "No, no, you you think I'm joking? How you how you feel when they gonna put you in that dress? You you nigga like SNL? You gonna wear a dress?" Damn. I was like I was like, "Nah." I, and what? I, and, yo, and, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> so our first, my, our first day of work was supposed to be 9-11. Our first day yeah. of work was mm. September 11, 2001, right. but we got preempted for obvious reasons. So, right. so our first episode is with Giuliani and the firemen okay. at the show, and Reese right. Witherspoon yeah. is coming off the success of uh, Legally Blonde, and Alicia Keys has the hottest record in the country with yeah. Fallen. Falling, yeah. And Ray Chu, from Ray Chu and the crew up at the, yeah. up the Apollo, Ray is her musical director. So Ray sees me backstage. He's like, yo, what you doing? I said, yo, I'm on the show. He's like, yo, that's dope. I said, yo, I want to meet Alicia, right? He's like, all right, well, I said, well, nah, you know, y'all handling business, but just, just let Alicia know, you know, I'm here, right? <laughs> right. So Maya Rudolph wrote this, this, she had this recurring character, uh, Donna Televersace, yeah, right? Versace, yeah. Very funny. She wrote the sketch, and she wrote me as Grace Jones. Mm. In that episode, <laughs> hold on. So, so not only am I never playing to the bottom, woman. never satisfied. <laughs> Pull up, Pull up to, to the, the bumper, bumper, baby. Pull up to the bumper, and the Senate Street, my Jamaican guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my Jamaican <laughs> guy. Oh. <laughs> Remember that video? I do remember That's that. That's a weird ad- yeah. She was yeah. ahead of her time. Yeah. Go ahead. Pushing yeah. to him. Marcus. He t- he now he is gay. Yeah. And this one is gay. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. 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 Now this is this. This is this. Pussy. It's a pussy. <laughs> Tomato. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> grab him and take him like that. <laughs> you have to grab him. How do you do? You grab him and take him like that. <laughs> so um, Conan and Destroy. So, Conan so Destroy. I'm... So in my first episode, the final sketch of the night, I got on a mini skirt. I got on four inch heels. I got on a big Grace Jones face with a leather top. I ain't gonna front. I'm a fine looking woman, but I, I don't, I, I'm annoyed that I'm wearing this. <laughs> and and of all the times, I ain't seen Alicia right. Keys all week. Oh gosh, right. You see where this is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't seen, she's avoided, she ain't been nowhere around me. <laughs> right as I'm about to go out oh, on stage, shit. I hear, you better work them heels, boo. I was like, oh, oh fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it.